Welcome back to Photosynthesis and Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, we're going to talk in this video about CAM metabolism or CAM plants. CAM stands for Crassulation Acid Metabolism. I don't really understand where that name came from, but one way to think about CAM metabolism is unlike C4 metabolism in the previous video, which separates the carbon fixation from carbon intake based on the space, meaning is it in this cell or this cell, CAM metabolism separates those two things by the time of day. Temporal is usually a word that means something related to time. So we're going to have a time separation of CO2 intake and CO2 fixation. Okay. So let's talk about this and, and understand how it makes sense. The first thing you should understand about cam plants, and I'll go back to this picture, this is a cactus. Okay, Where do you find cacti? You find them in deserts, so places that have extreme drought conditions, extreme harsh environments, harsher than where you would find C4. The reason you can find cam plants in even harsher areas is because they're more efficient. They're the most efficient kind. Okay, so let me ask you something. In a desert during the middle of the day, if, even if you're a human, you don't want to be there without water, right? Because you're going to easily get dehydrated when that sun comes up, and you're not going to last for very long. Cam plants, just like many plants, have stomata. And stomata can open and close. When stomata are open, it allows things like gases and even water to get in, okay? When the stomata are closed, nothing gets in and also nothing gets out. Now, if the stomata are open, and if they were open in the middle of the day, in the desert, water would evaporate from that. Okay, The stomata are open, so the water would actually leave the cam plant. Because it's really hot, it's really dry, it's going to evaporate right out of the plant, basically. Okay, And so the plant would become dehydrated. Okay, so what the plant does is during the day it closes the stomata. Okay, now for understanding CAM metabolism, we're going to assume it's night first. So at night, we don't have to worry necessarily about the sun up there, right? Okay, it's going to be cooler during the night, it's not going to be as hot. So during the night, the CAM plant opens its stomata, and I think that actually makes sense, right? If it's not as hot, during the night, then just open your stomata, okay, and get as much CO2 and oxygen and water and things like that in, okay. So during the night, cam plants have their stomata open, and so then the CO2 will come in through the stomata, and that's how the intake of CO2 occurs in the cam plant. Now, we're going to hopefully this. I don't really like this picture so much. We're going to look at another picture in a minute, but suffice it to say, we'll see that during the night when the carbon dioxide comes in, that CO2 is immediately going to be fixed into malate. Okay? The same four carbon molecule we saw in C4 plants. Okay? The CO2 is going to be fixed into malate and it's actually going to be stored in a vacuole. Okay? It's going to be stored. We're not going to do anything with it during the night. Flip forward a few hours during the day. Now the stomata close to prevent loss of water due to evaporation basically. In order to prevent loss of water, the stomata are closed, so now CO2 can't come in. Now we're going to deal with the carbons that have already come in, but remember, they're in a vacuole stored as malate. So during the day, the malate is going to be released from the vacuoles and decarboxylated by one, or one of two enzymes. And then once it's decarboxylated, that CO2 is fixed by carbon dioxide. Okay. So let's kind of look at this picture. This is during the night. So you see CO2 come in, and there's going to be some similar enzymes that we're going to see, very similar to C4 metabolism. Carbonic anhydrase is going to fix CO2 into the form of, car of carbonic anhydrase is going to convert CO2 into bicarbonate. And then this enzyme, phosphenyl pyruvate carboxylase, or PEP carboxylase, is going to fix the bicarbonate, that carbon, into PEP, phosphenyl pyruvate, to make oxaloacetate. Then oxaloacetate is going to be reduced by malate dehydrogenase to malate. And then notice that malate is going to be put into a vacuole. So at night, we should have a vacuole jam-packed with malate. During the day, the stomata look close. CO2 can't get in. All right? 
The malate will now be released from the vacuole and immediately react with malic enzyme. Now remember the malic enzyme, remember what it did? It decarboxylated malate to pyruvate, releasing carbon dioxide. That's what you see here. We still get the pyruvate. We perform an oxidation, so we get an NADPH. And then we also get the CO2, which is shown in red. And CO2 then goes into the Calvin cycle, where it is fixed by Rubisco. Okay? The benefit of doing something like this is you're not also getting oxygen in at the same time. Okay? You're not getting oxygen in. So, as a result of that, you have as much CO2 as possible. And so Rubisco preferentially reacts with CO2. Okay? And like I said, cam plants are well adapted to extreme drought and high temperatures like deserts. And the way they're able to get around this is temporal separation of carbon dioxide fixation. Okay? So they're also going to store the carbon dioxide as malate, but they're not actually going to transport it to a different part of the cell or a different cell like C4 plants do. They're actually just going to fix it at a different time of the day. So in other words, for CAM plants, CO2 intake occurs at night when the stomatas are open, and then in the day when the stomatas are closed, carbon fixation occurs. Okay, that's what CC is, the Calvin cycle. All right, so hopefully that made a little bit of sense. Now that we've basically completed our study of pretty much everything important for photosynthesis, we're going to go into some new topics in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and join us for the next set of topics. Thank you.